For at TV, the world is thinking. So if I wanted to talk about this question of does such a thing as a prodigy exist, who would I talk about? I'd talk about the Beatles and Mozart, the cliches. And when you look at the story of the Beatles, of course, what you find is this, um, this, this little hidden fact that before they come to America and take the world by storm in 1964, they spend this incredibly long period of time as a house band in a strip club in Hamburg, in Germany, playing eight-hour sets seven days a week for months at a stretch. Right. And it is that period of apprenticeship that um, many Beatles experts, and I love the fact that there's such a thing called a Beatles expert. Oh, there's um, colleges that study the Beatles. There's a separate Beatles. kind of... Um, I'm sure at like, you know, Duke University, there's a, there's a yeah. department of Beatles oh, studies. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> um, that, that now, there's a Pete Best department. <laughs> I'm, yeah, no. Well, that would be at the University of, of Liverpool, yeah. that they would be a Pete. But um, uh, they would tell you that, look, you know, before they went to Hamburg, they were just not a good band. And it was as a result of being forced to play in this extraordinary environment that they mastered what it took to be the greatest rock band of all time. Um, and so, it's in, you know, you can't tell the story of the British invasion of 1964 without telling the story of the Hamburg invasion of 1959, right? right? And it is something, it tells something very valuable about the distorted way that we think about success, that we constantly talk about 64, but we don't talk about 59.